Hello everyone and welcome to EduSearch Clinics. I am Dr. Gunjan Desai and today we are going to review a very recent trial that has come up in stomach cancer treatment and more of a practice changing trial with significant results. So let us see the Matterhorn trial. Matterhorn, if you don't know, is a place in Switzerland, a very beautiful place where people visit. Not sure if the place is relevant to this trial because this article is a multi-center study. So it is not a single center study. So perioperative durvalumab in gastric and gastroesophageal junction cancer. So the scope or the disease that we are going to discuss includes both gastric cancer as well as gastroesophageal junction cancer. It was a multi-center trial done across a lot of countries in the world and the results have been published recently in NEJM. So if you want to see the full article, you can log into the NEJM website, download it. So before going into the Matterhorn trial, let us see why or what was the rationale behind conducting this trial. So remember that there is no biomarker driven therapy for rejectable gastric cancers or gastroesophageal junction cancers and the current standard of care in perioperative setting for rejectable cases is FLOT. We have a separate video on FLOT trial and MAGIC trial as well as ESOPAC so you can see all those videos if you have not gone through the trials before. For this paper particularly the focus is on biomarker driven therapy. So addition of immune checkpoint inhibitors to FLOT in perioperative setting. Now we know that there is also a Keynote 585 study where FLOT was combined with pembrolizumab. And in Matterhorn study, we are going to see FLOT plus Durvalumab. Remember that when this study has been published, the final overall survival analysis is still pending. So going to the study outline, it includes the patients between stage 2 to stage 4a, basically rejectable gastric and gastroesophageal junction adenocarcinoma with no evidence of metastasis and no prior therapy. ECOG performance status is 0 or 1. Like I said, it's a multi-center study across the world. So there is global enrollment of population from Asia, Europe, North and South America. They have tried to stratify the data into Asia versus non-Asia, node positive versus node negative and PDL1 marker based substratification. The perioperative regime is Durvaluma plus FLOT2 cycles in the intervention arm versus placebo plus FLOT as the control arm and surgery followed by two cycles more adjuvant therapy Durvaluma plus FLOT versus placebo plus FLOT. And this is followed by 10 more cycles of Durvalumab. So adjuvant is extended up to year. The primary endpoint is event-free survival. We will discuss how this is different from disease-free survival. And secondary endpoints are overall survival and pathological complete response. So if we see the primary endpoint that is event-free survival, we need to understand the difference between disease-free survival and event-free survival. So disease-free survival means the time from randomization to recurrence of the disease or death. Disease-free survival takes into consideration that the entire study arm has been taken care of while treating the patient. So it does not include, say, progression of disease preventing surgical treatment. So that is one component that is not a part of disease free survival. Event free survival on the other hand is time from randomization to progression of disease preventing surgery, local or distance recurrence or death from any cause. So this is what is the difference between disease free survival and event free survival. So if you see 18 month EFS is strongly positive or better with Durvaluma plus FLOT, 24 month EFS is also 67% in Durvaluma plus FLOT vis-a-vis 59% for placebo plus FLOT. So there is significant difference. P-value is less than 0 
So statistically significant difference and EFS is strongly better with Turvaluma plus flop. Going to secondary endpoint of overall survival, again you can see 24 month overall survival is better in the Durvaluma arm versus the placebo arm. So again, overall survival is better. There is also a statistically significant improvement with addition of Durvaluma to flot in pathological complete response, 19% versus 7%. Difference is 12% and the odds ratio is significant with t-value less than 0.001. So to conclude, this perioperative Durvaluma addition with FLOT is a new standard of care for gastric cancer as well as gastroesophageal junction adenocarcinoma stage 2 to stage 4a. You need to match the inclusion criteria of the matter on study. Currently, FLOT was the standard of care, but is Durvaluma now going to become the standard of care with FLOT? We need to see. When this study was conducted, no new safety concerns were identified. So that is also a positive factor in favor of the matter on trial. So that is in a nutshell, the matter on trial, probably a practice changing trial, the new standard of care in gastric and gastroesophageal junction adenocarcinoma may be perioperative Durvaluma with flow. Thank you.